Coach, we're going to start off right with Lily. Uh, how do um, Hunter and Jack complement each other on the court? Well, Hunter, you know, he's a, in, in my opinion, in, in three years of coaching him, high IQ player, is very unselfish, um, great passer. You know, when he gets double teamed, you know, he's going to do his best to try to make the right play by finding open guys. And with the spacing that we have on the floor, you know, Jet is going to be a recipient of it. Um, T. Will, Kobe, Joey, I mean, the list goes on. And so, uh, you know, Jet was uh, one of the guys also that got, you know, some good open looks because of, you know, Hunt being double, but also Jet made some plays himself too. Steve? Ron, take, uh, you, you focus on the team, but take a minute to talk about being a dad and, and watching, you, you probably watched it on, on, in the backyard and on playgrounds the whole, their whole lives, but to watch your sons one feed the other for a basket here at uh, Chrysler. No, and this is it's a, a dream come true because that's something that never happens, uh, you know, every day. You know, it's one of those moments where you have a special time in your life where you get an opportunity to coach your alma mater and then um, knowing the times when you were in the NBA or you were coaching the NBA, uh, how much you love you know, your alma mater and you talked about the only college that they would go to uh, would be Michigan, teaching them the fight song. And, you know, when Michigan and you know, Ohio State playing the, you know, the, uh, the, that uh, football rivalry game, you know, dressing up all my kids and you know, my wife and my dog, you know, in the Michigan and amazing blue. And now to see it all come, you know, like to fruition and, and, and seeing the opportunity, how it's presented, you know, with uh, the growth of both boys, you know, and since watching them, like you touched on, in the backyard, watching them in high school practice, then AU, and uh, now here on, in Ann Arbor. And, in front of our great crowd cheering them on and it, it is it really a blessing and also to see their mom i kind of peek my eye over at her because i can hear her uh, <laughs> <laughs> i hear her and i'm like the excitement and this, you know that she has on and the smile that she's you know she's having each and every possession you know it's a blessing over here with jack yeah so uh you have two point guards in Jalen and doug that have a pretty different style of play just how do you think that adds a layer to the offense out there well they both are Pass first, point guards, um, smart, hezzy, um, unselfish, and, and, they, and their teammates enjoy playing with them. Uh, there, there are going to be some times when you see them both play together out there on the floor, uh, but we're just still filling things out. This is our first game, but it's nice to see, you know, we have both guys that we can use in different situations that I trust is going to uh, lead us. Chris? Well, you preach it, but can you just talk about the want to on defense? These guys seem like they are really buying into what you're teaching. Oh, they've always bought in, but you know, it's it's about you know, continue to keep growing it, and uh, you know, obviously accountability is a part of it. Uh, you know, there's no room for you know a lack of effort. Uh, I'm not saying that we we have that. Um, there's no room for not being detailed exactly of what we practice and how we show it on film and. I would talk about it and hear their voice on how to fix, you know, certain situations out there on the floor. And I know, like, while the game is happening, you know, things are moving so fast, and it's totally different from when you're playing against the scout team. Um, but, you know, at times I get a little out of, out of whack, too, when we don't do what we work on, what we, uh, what we ask. But overall, I love that um, there was effort. And um, a team that shoots very well from the three-point land and, for them to only shoot 23% from the from three and 29% uh, from the field, and scoring is one of their 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 strengths. And they've said it, you know, this upcoming season. That's one of the things that they are going to you know, continue to keep growing on is attacking the paint, and, you know, scoring within seven seconds in the shot clock. And then, so they obviously said they want to play with pace. And then they also talked about how they, you know, three point shooting is going to be their strength. And, Good to know that we worked on that in those last two days, and our guys were able to apply it. Right in front with David. Hey, Jawan. Um, so, in his press, <coughs> uh, Hunter mentioned that they're still feeling each other out. Um, from your perspective as head coach, where do you see them gelling? Where do you think they have a little bit to go? Well, you're not where you want to be, mm -hmm. you know, and 
it's so early in the season. You know, this is only our first game, um, and there is room for growth. And we're going to continue to keep getting better. And, uh, there's areas that we're going to try to clean up. And, but I love where our mindset is, and you know, our guys are really dialed in and in tune to uh, you know being a elite level group. And I love how they were so connected. Uh, I just hope that continues throughout the years. The first first game and. Sure, we're going to have a, hit a rough, rough patch. Pretty much, um, the vast majority of the college basketball teams do. Uh, but it's how we're going to react when we have those uncomfortable moments. John, when uh, a guy like Kobe doesn't have the long-range success that, that you know he can, what's, what's your approach in, uh, in working with him? Everyone, everyone's going to be fine. <laughs> it's no, it's, you know, his first game. <laughs> Please stop, stop that. <laughs> Young man, gonna be great this year, and we don't need him. He knows it. So, so it's like you don't have to. I have no worry in, in any of our guys. Okay. Yep. Andrew, don't single one person now. Please don't. I'll be back. With uh, with so many new players, uh, I guess can you speak to the process of, of figuring out lineups and and just how guys go. Go. maximize each other's strengths? Is it is it fun? Is it challenging? That's the part right there that you just mentioned. You know, there are going to be so many different lineups, or there may be uh, so many different um, guys that may play one game. Some may not play one game because we we have a deep team, and uh, you know, but we also have a team that's still growing, uh, and we are young. And, uh, there are going to be some moments where you know you see one guy might not play um, one game. He may play the next game. But I'm still filling the group out, and uh, you know we're not there where we want to be yet. And, you know we have a long season, <laughs> just the first game. Uh, there in the first half there was a sequence where it looked like Hunter passed a ball that Joe and he missed it, goes out of bounds, and there's a media timeout. After that timeout, 18-0 run. Was that like does Joey's veteran experience there kind of playing it? Do kind of play into that and his poise, or was there something we didn't see? Trust. Trust. We got some good defensive stops, and then we went down on the other end, and we just made some really good plays. And, uh, and the reason why I say trust is because there were some unselfish plays that happened. And when you have a group that continuously keep feeding life into one another on the court, and then you have a group that sit on a bench waiting to get in, and they are being so positive and encouraging, uh, you have you know, runs like that. And hopefully, we'll we'll continue to keep growing. Austin. Follow up on the question about lineups and rotations. How close are some of those guys like Yusuf and uh, Will and Isaiah to kind of breaking into that top eight, nine, ten rotation? Yes, we don't need everyone. And it's going to be a long year. So stay ready. Stay ready. You don't have to get ready. Steve? Juan, we talked to Hunter about Joey Baker, and he, he touched on what an obvious floor stretcher he is. Talk about that aspect coming from a, a bigger player. Well, Joey, you know, we all know it's documented that he's played at Duke, you know, one of the best conferences in college basketball, the ACC, and played for Hall of Fame coach. Uh, so he's been coached. And, you know, the kid knows how to play. Um, one of his strengths is shooting. And, uh, I, I don't want him to pass up any open shots. Let it fly. Make or miss, we live with the results. We got time for a couple more, Tom? Yeah, Juwan, uh, I think in the first half you were trailing in rebounding and you flipped the script a little bit and had a six rebound advantage. Is, uh, can you talk about your emphasis on rebounding and maybe what you said at halftime and season long, what's your message on rebounding? Uh, I emphasized that during halftime. And um, halftime, that we gave up six offensive rebounds in the first half. And uh, looking at the sheet here, total 15. We will get better in that area. And, you know, over the years, we've always been a re really good rebound. Is it, is it a 50-50 ball or a box out issue? Uh, you know, it's it's more of you know effort and also you know putting the body on someone. But first game, we'll get better there. I'm not panicking. Yeah, yeah you'll take 21 from Jenna tonight, but five assists led the team. What impresses you the most about him as a distributor of the basketball? He he knows. The, you know, he's been around the game for, for a long time, and um, he also has a high IQ. Uh, he 
He's a willing passer. He has great size. He sees the floor. Uh, you know, I've seen that from day day one when he first started playing basketball. And you know, it's the ball is going to be in his hands. And at times he's going to make some good plays. There's going to be some times, just like any freshman, he's going to make some mistakes. Uh, it might be a turnover because he's trying to make you know some, some plays that probably. You may saw that the guy open and then the defense sort of collapsed quickly because on his college level, you know, he gets older guys that are bigger, they're faster, and they're, 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 they're active. They also scout you on film like how we scout them. Uh, so he'll he'll learn and grow and uh, my, I know he will because he had one he loves the game, I feel like that. <laughs> I want this kid to enjoy his college life, man. I don't want to make it emphasize that my dad's gonna be so hard on me because I'm not. But I'm also coaching, and you see that in the first half when uh, there were two or three different defensive mistakes, and you know, um, I had to sit him down, let him calm down, and figure out, you know, where the area that he probably thought he didn't um, mess up on, but we get clarity that he did. And uh, it was great to see that he responded and came back in and uh, played played well because he could have did the opposite and been so. That's not how he's wired. Coach, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. <clears throat>